One of the huge advantages to having layer content in Photoshop is that we can rearrange it with ease. Now, if I left click on the layer that contains the dates, make sure that my move tool is active and turn off auto select. I can hover over that layer in the image window and click and hold down the mouse and drag. And I can drag it somewhere else. Now, all of the multiple purple lines that you see on screen is Photoshop's attempt to try and align content that I'm dragging with other elements of the artwork in different layers. The only trouble is that in this scenario, I'd really like the other portion of text to follow the dates. So if I go to edit and choose undo move, I can hover over and shift and left click the layer underneath. So I now have these two layers active. I can hover over any part of that document window and click and drag and both layers will move at the same time. If I go to view and choose fit on screen, if I want to try and make sure that the logo and these two text layers are perfectly center aligned with one another, then I'll have to select them in the layers panel. I'll click on the top layer, surf logo and shift and left click on the bottom text layer. So all three are active. And with the move tool active from the tools panel, I can hover over and click on align horizontal centers. This now will guarantee that those three layers are perfectly centered to one another. If you wish to fine tune the position of a layer, well then you can click on it in the layers panel. If I zoom in here by using my scroll wheel and center that on screen, as long as the move tool is active, you can use the cursor keys on the keyboard. Every time you tap up, down, left or right, it will move one pixel at a time. So if you wish to fine tune the position of something, the cursor keys will be a better bet than using the mouse and dragging. Those are ways in which we can move a single layer on multiple layers.